People inside Pulse the night of the shooting, neighbors and others are turning to ink to never forget that tragic night. New Six anchor Ginger Gadsden explains how a lot of people are now getting tribute tattoos. Tattoos are forever. Every tattoo. How that feel? comes with a story. I'm gonna spin you this way and lock you in place. You could say. That's the way tattoos are. It's just part of the deal. They're, you know, catered for everyone's specific emotion and everyone's specific personality. But stop into Ink Spot Tattoos in downtown Orlando <laughs> and those stories That's become one. Everyone's come in and shared their stories, whether they were personally involved or knowing someone that was, you know, knowing somebody that was affected, we all were affected. I'm excited to see the finished product. Chris Brodman is one of hundreds who have stopped in to memorialize an event he'll never forget. Because some of those people, you know, I knew, I knew them. He was in Pulse that night celebrating his 34th birthday. I mean, it was at the end of the night, last call, we went out to the patio to have a cigarette, and we were out there when the shots started to be fired. Today, he and counts himself lucky to be alive. I just pushed everyone out in front of me and I said, run, just run, run, run. And we all just ran out the bar. And even in a random tattoo studio, it seems everyone is affected. You know, I lost my neighbor. You know, he was a good man and, you know, he was really, really kind and quiet individual. And, you know, I mean, no. Drew is a good guy. Chris says tattoo or not. Oh, I feel good. He'll never forget that night. Uh, you know, I won't see these people again. And he hopes by sharing his new art, Others won't either. Just remember the victims, you know, the people that didn't make it out. In Orlando, Ginger Gadsden, News 6.